Hey guys, EBP Man here, and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the GameSir X2. It's gonna give you the ability to play Xbox games, Stadia games, and Google Play games like never before. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the GameSir X2 gaming controller is gonna give you a lot of flexibility when it comes to gaming. So if you're a Stadia game player and you'd like to be able to use your phone and play Stadia games right on your phone, you can do that. If you like using controllers for, let's say the Google Play Store, the games that are found there, as long as it supports a controller, you can do this as well. If you have the X Pass, that uh, Xbox Game Pass, you could do it on the Xbox or Xbox Gaming as well. So this is gonna give you, again, Xbox-like gameplay on your phone. And as we take a look at the controller itself, there's a lot of stuff to like about this controller. Uh, first of all, uh, you have all the expected buttons that you would expect uh, that you have on controllers. It's more like a Nintendo Switch type experience when you really look at it. Uh, it also then expands, so it can support small phones like the uh, Google Pixel 5 and 4, but you can expand it to support phones as large as the Note 20 Ultra, just like this. Now, one of the things I really like about this unit is the fact that the USB-C port is flexible, or in this case, you'll notice how I can push it up and I can push it down. Now, this is important because as you slide your phone in, you wanna make sure that if this was fixed and rigid, it could damage your USB-C port, but it has this flexibility allowing you to install it and not have to worry about it stressing your USB-C port. Has these uh, joysticks here. It reminds me really about the Nintendo Switch. It really is like almost like having the Nintendo Switch, but playing, again, a wide variety or an expansive, expansive library of games. You have your triggers here, right? And that's pretty much it. You have some grips on the side that you know make it easy to hold, um, and you can have some fantastic, fantastic gaming experiences. So let me show you how I put my phone in the actual uh, game controller and how it works. Now, installing your phone into the game controller is pretty simple. I'm gonna be using my S20 Ultra, which is a really large phone, and I'm just gonna guide it here and notice how it just locked into place right there. And then I'm gonna pull this open, just like this. And as soon as I pull it open, you notice a couple things. First of all, this blue LED turned on and this blue LED turning on indicates that the controller has made a good contact and that now the controller is now working. So you'll notice even as I move the phone around or this controller, you'll notice how it's almost like a mouse. It's doing what it needs to do, but actually doesn't make any sense to see it on the actual phone itself. So let's start up again. Now I've tested this with various Google Play games as well as with Stadia games and it works well. Um, right now I am in the Xbox platform and I'm just gonna go ahead and start up this game. And as you can see, first thing that will happen is that this will continue to load. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. I've actually been playing games on this, so we'll let this uh, actual load. And then we'll see what the overall gaming experience is like. But the controllers are very responsive. I like the, uh, the joysticks here. Uh, you have, again, your triggers, so when you're playing games, the experience is very similar to you using uh, some of the larger controllers. And I'm telling you, let me show you, you know, this is another controller that I have. We'll pull this over. Uh, look how big this thing is. So this is from the MOGA, uh, very large. And well, it has kind of like a clip that I can use to actually see my uh, my 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 phone almost um, uh, parallel or or, or raised up. Um, very very large, but this is going to give you again the real uh, almost like Xbox Play. This feels really good, and it's not a bad control at all. But what I like is the fact that my phone is connected, and it's almost like a Nintendo Switch experience here. So let's let this load, and I'll show you what the game plays like. Now, from a gameplay perspective, you can expect very similar to console-like experiences when using this controller and your phone, especially with the new services that are available. So, you know, as you can see, this is just working as you would expect. You can actually select the character that you wanna play with using the controller, you know, just like that. Uh, make your selections. I'll go ahead and choose a couple characters here that we're gonna battle. And I'm gonna choose this here, choose a random place, let it choose it for me. And then it's um, literally just gonna load. So now once this loads, Again, the same experience that you would have on a large console will take place. So you'll use your triggers, you'll use your buttons, you'll use your joysticks here to navigate the game and to, in this case, uh, this is a com combat game, um, I'll just play against this character. Let me just show you a little gameplay so you can see uh, how it would work. Uh, I'm probably not gonna be able to do, do, do both, you know, literally play and talk at the same time, but you can see uh, what my experience is like. So this is gonna give you the ability to, again, have a console-like experience using a controller uh, just like this. Again, with no drivers, nothing to install, simply plug it in and it works. So guys, that wraps up our review of the GameSir gaming controller that takes gaming to the next level, mobile gaming, and it turns it almost to console-like gaming.